Well, the new stadium for Monterey Bay FC is finally completed and it's ready for the first home match. Tonight, the players are training under the lights at Cardinale Stadium to get, get used to it, Just right? Just want to make sure everything's yeah. a go. For our preview of what's to come, we go to Action News 8 reporter Christian Balderas, who's live in Seaside tonight. Dan Aaron, the practice will be kicking off in just a few minutes. Now, this practice marks a new history in professional soccer on the Central Coast. Now, the players practicing behind me, they're practicing for the upcoming upcoming inaugural home opener happening on Saturday. But this stadium is brand spanking new. If you take a look over here, it's still being constructed. These stands over here are, are still being constructed. They may not be ready until late, um, early Saturday morning. And if you look at the very back, the beer garden is also still being constructed. Now, all of this is intended to be a dry run practice to test the stadium equipment. It used to be called the Freeman Field. Now it's been renovated for the Monterey Bay F scene will be shared with CSU Monterey Bay College and it seats about 6,000 fans. Now Monterey Bay FC is still fairly new. It was founded last year. Um, it originates though from Fresno. Um, however, the owner was unable to find a soccer field there. So he dissolved that team, brought, found a team here in Monterey Bay. And so this team, this stadium and the match on Saturday is historic. Now that match will be happening against the Las Vegas Lights again on Saturday at 7 p.m. In Seaside, I'm Christian Balderas, KCW Action News 8. We're testing the audio system too. Yeah, we're testing the audio. <laughs> Looks like the, the sound system works. Thank you, Christian.